Welcome back, everybody. PCA 2024. Bear Duplessis here for the Cigar Coop Coalition. We've got a bigger and better team than years past. We got Ben Lee, of course, behind the camera. Coop getting scoop over there. Well, we got Dennis Fang and Trip Waldrop walking around, and of course, Aaron Nielsen is capturing the photos all over the trade show floor. But most importantly, right now in this moment, we're talking to none other than Arnold Deserf uh, Arnold Serafine of Serafine de Cuba Cigars. You're too, man. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. glad to be back. Thank you for having me, and I'm, I'm excited to be back again. My sophomore year, uh, bigger and better. Not not bigger, but be I guess better. Better. Better, yes. And little by little, man, we're just happy to be here again, you know, spread the love, and it's, it's an honor. It's an honor to have you. I'm so glad to see you back. We we sat here and we talked uh, last year, and uh, I remember it was it was actually after our interview, and you said, how did you, you know, you asked for basically, basically our my feedback about where you thought you were in the trade show floor. I thought you were incredibly well positioned. And I thought it was the best decision for you to actually have a booth as opposed to maybe joining a pavilion or something like that. Nothing against our, our friends over at the BCA, but I thought it was a really great way to showcase and feature what is an obvious historic brand that you and your family have put together for. And so this is really exciting for uh, for year two. How, how, uh, how, how, how has things been for the past few months? Because again, it hasn't been a full 365. I know. It's, you know, it's been a crazy uh, eight months, I guess, because really, like you said, we haven't had a full year to prepare again. But to be honest with you, the business is continuing to grow. And we just released a new brand, which is the Juan de Fuca, mm -hmm. which is another old historic Tampa brand. And, uh, you know, last year was great. We got exposure. We got more folks that know what we're doing. They, they like what we're doing. And uh, it's just great to be here again. Don't leave me hanging here. You've always been the storyteller. So Juan de Fuca, so give me a little bit okay. of background here. So Juan de Fuca was a uh, brand, that, another Tampa historic brand that was started um, in Tampa, early 1900s. Um, and as far as I can go, to, you know, to my recollection or in history, it went all the way through the 60s. Um, it was owned by the Morgan Cigar Company. And the interesting thing is if you guys get to Tampa, the building is still there on Howard Avenue. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would love that building one day, but that's a pipe dream. But anyway, it's a gorgeous old brick building, Tampa building. And uh, anyway, Juan de Fuca was named after the famous um, Spanish slash Greek explorer. Uh, he sailed through the channel from uh, northern Washington State up to Vancouver, and it's called the Juan de Fuca Strait. So if you guys ever go up to like Alaska, you'll see it. It goes right through a beautiful area, but that strait is named after him. And I just saw this brand years ago, and it's really the, the artwork and everything. I just fell in love with it, and I just said, you know, this would be great, another great brand to bring back. Plus, it's a really funny name, Juan de Fuca. So people are always like, uh, what the Juan de Fuca is going on here? I, I can say that on this show, right? You can say anything okay. fucking one. I drop F-bombs all the time. So, you know, but I, I just, I really enjoyed it. And I, I kind of tried to retain everything as, as original as possible with the box design and everything. And I'm really happy. We, uh, we actually made a Cameroon wrapper on this one. And the flavor is just really, really great. I think you guys will enjoy it. So Cameroon wrapper, that's got a lot of ears perked up. So that's something that's good. And that's obviously, you have some of the most tremendous relationships in this business. Thank you and that's what's, that's what's kind of brought you up to this point. So when you talk about the relationships that you've built on and what you've built on in year two here as you're trying to move forward uh, and continue the building of your brand, what have you found? Uh, what What did you find from the response as people are starting to bring it in on a more nationwide scale? I mean, I know there's you have retailers in Texas and all yeah. over the country. Like how how has that been as far as getting that spreading the word? It's been so exciting. I'm just like. Little by little, our cigars are making headway, like you said, across the country, different pockets, you know, um, up in the Northeast, they sell very well, um, Ohio, Texas, uh, Colorado. Now we have Lonnie on our team, and he's been, you know, putting them in several places in Colorado. And we have other people that are, are interested, so we're, you know, we're looking to expand across the country, slowly but surely. That's wonderful. Putting them in the right places, though, you know? In the right place. It's always, you know, and that's, I think that's something that's really, really great. Well, while you did bring a lot of brands to market in your first year, I mean, these are, again, these are very historic brands. They're, they're a part of the story. And then I think that, that I, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It seems like you're kind of going to be slowly building upon that. I want to, I really want to, I want to, I want to focus on what we have right now. Cause I think it's a good lineup. Um, I have ideas for next year. They're just ideas at this point, but the good news is we got 13 months to plan now. So, you know, but I definitely want to, continue to focus on what we have, kind of capitalize on that. Don't get too crazy, um, but you know, keep it exciting, I guess is the, is the name so of the game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin a phrase here and you can steal this all, all, all week long if you want, but I think that, I think what Serafina Cuba represents is a living, breathing history of cigars. Thank you. And I think that you, you yourself personally, your family, of course, Brandon's over there as well. I'm so and, honored, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's something that you bring the cigar history to life uh with Thank your you. brands and, and and i think that's something that's really exciting for everyone who's checked out and the cigars 
fantastic. I'm honored. Thank Absolutely. you very much. So There's no bigger honor for me than, than for you guys to say that and for to, to keep getting the love from everybody. People are really digging the cigars, and that's what that's what keeps me going. Absolutely. It's the fuel. So we wish you the best, Arnold. Have a great, fantastic week here at PCA Thank 2024. You so much. Thanks for bringing you know for bringing the, everybody here and you know the whole team and for uh, you know spreading the love, man. Of course, Arnold, Arnold Serafin, everybody. Serafin to Cuba. Check it out. Thank you, guys. Oh, <laughs>